everyone and welcome back to Collaboration Day where I'm working on John DeBrand's comic gigs. This one is going to be kind of a little backwards in a way but not. So I have gone ahead and set up this file for background done. I also want to say uh, just mind my very nasal in this and heavy breathing. As most Canadians know, it is smoke season and my body does not like smoke season. Um, but I am congested as can be. So. Um, okay, what was I saying? Wait, uh, so I started this, started doing the background and stuff. The thing is about this though is that they would like it to be more like old school comics. So that means not as much detail as I've put in. So I might take out a little bit of the detail as I go. All right, let's just dive in it, I guess. I didn't really clean up this part, so I'll be making that up as I go, I guess. I was debating of doing it with a pixel layer and then just going in and drawing it due to the fact that that'll make it look more um, traditional. The only problem with that is it does make it way more pixeled. If you look at the difference there between the vector lines and the art lines, they're very pixeled. So I think for now, this will end up being more for like the shading and whatever I decide to do for the quick gray pass. It's too strong at the moment, but that's okay get there when I get there. So right now I set up my pencil tool here, 2.7, and just normal, normal, normal pressure, normal, normal ink, and that's what I'm going to do. And again with this one, I don't have to do it very clean, clean, well, because like the old school comics where they're kind of just thrown on. Like how my pen decided to skip there, I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? I feel like it is too clean. Too clean for the style that he's going for. So The only thing I hate about pixels is it registers my hand. Okay. I need to actually. I'm gonna have to check as well here. Because I feel like my pressure. What's the difference here? Ooh, I actually like that a lot better. And yeah, so I'm just doing a quick cleanup pass on this. If this one will stop doing that, that would be fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, ooh. I think that's gonna be the hard part for me. I'm a very detailed person. But... 
like I've done quick sketch ones like this before. But not for like an actual comic. Like in a newspaper. Because I mean, newspaper was kind of dying at that time. Not fully, but kind of, you know. Good enough. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I went with the pixel brush. Like, this is the first time I think I have in any of my working on Infinity Designer. But I'm glad I did because it definitely gives a little bit more of the messy look that he is looking for. Sound effects are back, and I even have music in my ears. I was hoping that would help with my sound effects, but I guess it's just a part of how I draw. Just do the um, time lapse, and then when I feel like talking, or I don't know, maybe something I'm saying is actually interesting. <laughs> On a completely different note, that's not art related. I also like to play games, like video game. And Phasmo came out with the new update. And I tried to play that a little bit this morning. Kinda gave up. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, especially with the new tears and stuff. Like, I was not the best at the game to begin with. And then, now, even more so. Ooh, that's a little bit too heavy. I'm also loving that Pixel Brush has this pressure sensitivity so I can <laughs> Now with this part, I was debating I'm gonna add a different pixel layer from this actually showing maybe the cake in a little bit of emotion and having kind of like the candles blow up in that motion but I don't know if that'll be too much detail
Hmm. I think that might work. Mm, that's kind of weird when I hit that. Do that. Um, very selected. I guess I didn't really need to draw this out. Shoved his fork in there and just grabbed himself a beautiful piece of cake, not in like the cleanest of ways. Next question is if it actually reads this way or if I just see it this way because I drew it. the story but not the storytelling element. Ah, oh, dang it. Nice. Mm, maybe a little too much. I just want to see how that looks at the final. Oh, um, you know what? I should actually... worry about that afterwards. Let's get this stuff done first.
looks backwards, man. The front face should be showing there. Also gonna see how long I can last. That's what my whoo is about. Cause my office is upstairs, and I have no fan, no AC, no AC up here to begin with. with no fans on because I didn't want it to mess up the mic. So I'll also see how long I can last up here. Heat wise. One thing I do not like about digital art, and I've tried paper-like stuff. I've tried lots of different things. It's when your hand just kind of goes slide across the screen <laughs> like that. Just like, and there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta kind of go with it. Control Z, but in this case not Control Z because I'm on the iPad, so two fingers, boom, boom, three fingers to bring it back. Crazy kid here going on here. Oh, beautiful knot. if anyone else has the problem with Infinity Designer in this mode. Oh, come on. I think that's gonna drive me nuts. That's the only thing I don't like about this pixel mode thing. Check uh -oh. afterwards, because that might be a little too much. I'm gonna have to remind myself to keep looking too, like, for when it does read my finger like that. So I don't go through like a ton of stuff and I'd be like, Right 
No way, when the fuck is that one? Mind my language. Hand is not touching, I was about to say, but that didn't work either. It could be the fact that it is hot up here, and my iPad may not like that so much. Kind of looks like a hand. <laughs> so I'm doing the background a little bit more lighter and a little bit more messier because it's not the main focus of the story. I think I already said that before. It's just kind of like setting where the story is happening. I really don't have to go into this much detail of the scene either, if I didn't want to. But I decided to anyway.
No, I like where I put them to begin with. At some spots, as you can, as you may have noticed, I'm not putting the full line work either. So that some things kind of stick out a little bit more. I think I might cut out that bookshelf. And I miss one. Did I run to do that on the other side? No. I'm guessing. I don't really remember where it is in the movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. And they're like, do, 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 do. And then they look down the alley and there's the zombie. And the zombie's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and like timing with the song that they're singing. And then they're like, do, 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 do. And it's always like, rrr, rrr. one of my favorite parts. I don't know why, but that's stuck in my head for years and years. Clearly, it's one of those things that live in my head rent free. If it's gonna keep doing this, I might just throw this in Procreate. Do it in Procreate. And then just throw it in here and put the letter in here. Because that's kind of getting annoying. And Procreate at least isn't. Like it does it, but it, I don't know, for me it seems like it doesn't do that as much. Let's see, how does it look without the bookshelf? Looks like a... Oh, and on the mouth too. That part's not yet. Yeah, I think, whoa, why did that go so big? I think I'm gonna do this on Procreate. Cause it's kind of a waste of time having to go back through and edit this stuff. Because I've lost my hand too much. Detailed. 
me, it just kind of looks a smidgen naked. Okay, so I'll finish this one up in here and then all the other ones I will, I think I'll move them over to um, Procreate, let's do them in Procreate. I don't know. But um, I think that's all I'm going to do today for this one. Thank you for joining me. I hope the week treats you guys well. And next time with them, I'm going to transfer them over to Procreate and just work with Procreate. Um, thank you again. Have a good one. See you later.